Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about a full coverage cream foundation and my name is Melissa van Dijk, I'm a professional makeup artist and I know that some of you are suffering from heavy wetness, from dark circles and also major breakouts like acne that it can be tricky and also difficult to cover them up completely so that no redness will look through, no darkness, no grey areas etc. And so the one that I wanted to share with you guys is a Derma Color Camouflage Cream by Creolan and this is not only a foundation but it's very versatile as they have so many shades that you can use them as concealers, as neutralizers as well as foundations because they have skin tone shades available and this is basically what I'm going to demonstrate to you today as I have two different shades. Now they have several sizes, they have I believe three sizes, I have two of them. I have the 4 gram one which looks like a concealer pan basically and they have a 30 gram um, like sh also like little packaging and this is the D62 shade which I'm using for my face and the other one is the D2W and this is what I'm going to use for my dark circles. As I'm suffering from dark circles at some days they are all red, all, like all right and on other days it's just like horrible that it looks like like I haven't slept in days and this is also what I want to demonstrate to you. I personally like to apply it with a damp makeup sponge and it also feels very light on the skin so it's not a heavy and dry cream like foundation let's say it like this but it's going to go on very smoothly. What's really important is that I've noticed myself is that you're going to use also a good moisturizer underneath before you're going to apply the cream product on top so that it can glide on your face and you won't get stuck at it because it's still a cream product. And with cream foundations and cream products in general, they have a very high pigmentation, so it's easy to cover up those certain areas. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, especially like if you are suffering from acne, I just wanted to mention that they are also allergy friendly and quality tested, so it won't break you out from it. So that it's not going to make it worse, but it basically just should help you to cover up those areas where you are suffering from. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my under eye area so that you will see this part at first and then I'm going on top with the foundation part so that you can see how it will blend on top and also what the finished look will look like so that you can also decide whether or not you should get it for yourself. So let's move on to the demonstration. Now moving on to my under eye area, I just wanted to mention that if you are suffering from any dark areas right here, then make sure that you're finding the right neutralizing color. There are so many and I know it can, like it can be confusing but always ask a friend or someone like if you're going into a store how it looks because if you're having the wrong neutralizer or peach tone for your skin tone then it can look gray and this is not what we want we really just want to bring it on the point that it looks that it looks like skin so there's no gray like looking through or nothing it just should disappear once you're going to apply the product so if you're having a friend with you or a, a makeup artist where you're at a store or whatever just ask them because they will see if it's gray or not and if it looks like skin and also neutralized then this is the color that you want to pick now the one that i have it's a little bit more peachy but it's still very light um, like a very light shade of peach as i'm also a little bit paler so also make sure that you are finding the shade also according to your skin tone because it should look as natural as possible because on instagram and on facebook i see it so many times that people are picking the wrong shade as neutralizer and it's not going to neutralize the area but it just makes it worse and it also will look through still later on so you haven't done anything just um, added some product on top of something that you don't actually want so I want to make sure that it, the shade is perfectly for your skin tone and your area that you want to cover up now the one that I'm going to use I'm going to use the damp sponge and also the tip and then I'm just going to take some on the sponge and then once you're getting some of it off, this is also then what you're going to apply. Now I have moisturizer on and what I'm just going to do is um, mainly focus on the inner corner area as this is where I am suffering from the darkness and I'm going to press it like right in there so that it can brighten it up the area. And I'm just going to show you now like the before and after from one side to the other. 
and it just will brighten the eye area. So there, you like you you will see that um, I still have something on, but it still is very suitable to my skin tone. So this is what I meant by picking the right shade, so that it won't look awful. Because otherwise, you're just going to smear so much product on which you don't actually need. You just need to find the right tone, and then you need less of it. And this is what's really important, and this is also where people are doing loads of mistakes because they don't know those informations. So make sure that you're asking your friend how it looks or someone at the store so that they can also help you out so that you're not going to pick the wrong shade and you're just going to spend more money on something that you don't actually want because it's not going to work. Now with the Creolan also Dermacolor Cream um, products, they're also pretty affordable and you can get them in different sizes. So if you're not sure if this is your shade, then you can also go with a little one. And this can also be a skin tone shade which you are going to use for your foundation. Which is also really handy because with a cream product you can use them for such a long time. And this is also what makes it so handy because with this one, with the 30 gram, I mean it's full of cream so I will be like done with it when I'm, I don't know, in my 30s or so. So it will last you a long time because you need also less product. Now when it comes to my face area, now that we have brightened up the under eye area, I'm going to use the um, like larger side of the sponge and I'm going to dig into it. Of course, if you're going to do the makeup on someone else, mixing palette is always a good sign because then you can grab some product on it and then put it on a mixing palette. But because I'm using this one on myself, I'm going directly into it with the sponge. Now I have some product right here and I'm going to start off on one side so that we can see what it will look like, like basically the before and after again. And I'm going to blend it into the skin. So I've used some product on it and I'm just going to blend it over the whole area. So a little bit goes a long way. So don't um, like think that you should need, like that you need a lot. So now I'm also going to use the tip of it because I'm going towards my breakouts, like the two that I have. And I'm just going to be a little bit more specific with the tip of the sponge. You can also use a brush, of course, if this is the way that you want to apply it. So just go for it or either your fingers as it is a cream product. Now the layer that I put on is pretty light as the pigmentation is very strong. So if you want to build it up, you can. If you want to build it up to like specific areas, you can do so as well. And if you feel like the need, depending also on your skin type, that you can also set it with some powder. They do also provide some translucent powder, which will make it waterproof. But I'm not sure if you're needing it on a daily basis. So normal translucent powder is fine as well, or the powder that also matches with your skin tone so that you can also lock it in. Now with this one right here, um, I either don't set it at all or when it comes to the under eye area specifically, this is also where I would use some powder. But other than that, it stays put pretty well. But I have also to mention that I have a T-zone combination skin. So if you are having an oilier skin, then of course I definitely would recommend you also setting it with some powder. Now, with that being said, I mean, I've used now the specific color for my under eye area and I've also used a normal, like, 
skin tone shade that I can use for my foundation and it just works beautifully and I've been using this cream now for some time I've also used it in recent videos as well as also while I was taking pictures as it just will make your face look very flawless and it won't like um, show any dry patches if you're suffering from dryness but a good moisturizer underneath is like this will do everything for you as it just will slip on your face rather than you are going like you need to drag it onto your face as I hope that you get what I'm saying but it just will make the application easier of course if you want to go in with your fingers or sponge or just want to use it on those areas where you need to you can do so um, just make sure that you're also getting the right shade of course now this is what I want to share with you guys. Krillan with the foundation is also pretty affordable. So I believe this one is around 20 um, euros. So you can't really go wrong with it. This one is even less. I can't remember the price on that one. But they are pretty affordable and you will come with them for a long time as it's a cream product and you don't need a lot. Now this is what I want to share with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and also if you did so don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well and um, let me know your thoughts um, if you want to get it for yourself or if you had already any experience with the Dermacolor um, by Cruelan as um, it is a lot of fun to work with and they have such a like huge shade range and um, yeah this is what I want to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!